Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a salad that's near and dear to my heart. It's none other than the traditional Greek choriatiki salad, otherwise in English known as the traditional Greek village salad. It's called a village salad because it has no lettuce in it and only the finest tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, onions, feta cheese, and olives. And today mine's going to have a little bit of a twist on it, so I think I've said enough already and your mouth may be salivating so let me show you how to make it. So now I'm going to show you my uh, fun and exciting little twist on this Greek salad. I'm going to add in something known in Greek as the kuluraiki. So this is a kuluri, kuluraiki. It's basically just a sesame bread ring and it's so delicious. So I'm just going to crack it up into little bite-sized pieces. Now you're really lucky because I'm going to let you in on a little secret with regards to the Greek salad dressing. People often throw a whole bunch of different things in there, but the bottom line is, is that the Greeks, the way they do it is literally one ingredient, minus your salt and pepper or your oregano, pure fresh olive oil. It's very important to get extra virgin olive oil cold pressed, that's the best olive oil. Um, extra light or light, no, no, no. So you'll want to add in maybe about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. I really don't use measurements, but don't waste too much of it because this stuff is gold. Other than your olive oil, you're going to use some nice sea salt. This is a um, Greek style sea salt. I get mine at Costco, it comes in a three pack, it's perfect. So you want to make sure you season your salad with an adequate amount of salt because tomatoes need salt. And this is oregano, fresh from the Greek mountains. Um, I don't really like too much of it. It is a strong herb, so just be careful with how much you put. I think I would say I put like a quarter of a teaspoon. And that's basically it. It looks like this when it's done. It's so tasty, so amazing. That's all there is for this salad. Nothing but the finest ingredients. The Greek kuluri was my twist. You can omit it if you want. I don't suggest that you do, of course, because it adds a nice dimension, nice crunchy texture in there. It, especially if you're missing the lettuce out of your salad, that will give you a nice crunch, so maybe you won't miss it as much. Um, and yeah, just remember that the traditional Greek salad has no lettuce, the tomato is the star of this salad, and the olive oil as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. I hope I've inspired you to make a nice Greek meal for you or your family. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like, to share it with your family and friends. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave that in the comment section below. And of course, as always, I will upload the recipe and the ingredients in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.